If you found this video, you were searching for information about cannabis and marijuana, which is perfect because that's exactly what I do. I help people get started growing their own cannabis because even though it's quasi-legal now, it's still going to be worth growing it for yourself for a long time, if you do it right. Hi, I'm The Grow Boss. I write The Grow Book and Equipment Guide, and I own a hydro store in Henderson, Nevada, and thousands of growers come through my store every year, which is why I can promise you this book and my No More Grow More cards are everything you need to know to grow your own, because I already know every problem you're going to have, and if you can just avoid them, you will be so successful. So here are the top three things you need to know so you don't blow your wad on the wrong equipment. First, yield is based on light. So decide how much yield you want before buying your lights. For instance, if you want enough for one smoker, you want a 400 watt light, which is about a half pound dry every 60 days. If you're gonna cook it and consume it though, you'll want more or closer to a pound every 60 days. And that requires a 600 watt light. But the important thing to understand is this, light is heat. And the coolest lights you can buy for the money are T5s like these bad boys from Nickel City. Because if you buy more light than you need, or you try to use those super hot HID lamps in your house, you are going to quit growing because of the heat. Now, the reason I told you about light first is because the next thing you need to know is the top three reasons new growers fail so you can avoid them. And they are too much light, too much water, and too many nutrients. That's why when it comes to nutrients, I always recommend Humboldt nutrients. They're super easy to use. And it doesn't matter if you're a new grower adding a one part or an experienced grower mixing their two-part master A and B. The fact is, more nutrients and more expensive nutrients and more complicated nutrients don't get you more yield. More light does. And what that means is that you are responsible for using your nutrients correctly. And the only way you can do that is to know everything about them, including pH and PPM. Which brings me to the third thing you need to know about equipment. Allow me to introduce you to the Ultimate RO and the Grow Boss 3-in-1 Megameter. And I wanna make that introduction personally because these things are gonna be your best friend when it comes to watering and feeding because you are going to have to know pH and PPM. And it doesn't matter what size garden you have. If you're growing indoors, you are going to need an RO machine to clean the water and a pH PPM meter to test it. And while you could literally spend $200 or more on super scientific meters and more on super scientific RO machines, the reality is you don't need that kind of precision or expense to grow cannabis. Okay, I'm the Grow Boss. I write the Grow Book and Equipment Guide. And when you're ready to do this, save yourself some money and buy the right equipment the first time. Get my Grow Book and Equipment Guide, my No More Grow More Fat cards, the Ultimate RO, and my Mega Meter from your local hydro store, eBay, Amazon, or my website, thegrowboss.com. And if you need advice on choosing the right equipment or have a problem with your garden, remember, you can always sign up for a console. It's $49 an hour, but then mistakes cost even more, don't they? And they take weeks to recover from, which means lost production. And after everything you've already invested, what's $49 more for guaranteed answers, right? Anyway, good luck. And when you're ready to start growing cannabis or want to improve your current garden, I'm here for you.